An interesting media story in all this. One anchor on state-sponsored Russian TV appears to be mad as hell and she's not going to take it anymore. Abby Martin had a Howard Beale moment on her show breaking the set on RT Russia Today, slamming Russia for its actions in Crimea. Before we wrap up the show, I wanted to say something from my heart about the ongoing political crisis in Ukraine and Russia's military occupation of Crimea. Just because I work here for RT doesn't mean I don't have editorial independence. And I can't stress enough how strongly I am against any state intervention in a sovereign nation's affairs. What Russia did is wrong. I admittedly don't know as much as I should about Ukraine's history or the cultural dynamics of the region, but what I do know is that military intervention is never the answer. And I will not sit here and apologize or defend military aggression. Furthermore, the coverage I've seen of Ukraine has been truly disappointing from all sides of the media spectrum and rife with disinformation. Above all, my heart goes out to the Ukrainian people who are now wedged as pawns in the middle of a global power chess game. They're the real losers here. All we can do now is hope for a peaceful outcome for a terrible situation and prevent another full-blown Cold War between multiple superpowers. Until then, I'll keep telling the truth as I see it. Anna Korin is in Simferopol, the capital of Crimea. Anna, this story is just beginning in, in many ways. What can you tell us about the possible ramifications of Martin's comments? Yeah, interesting, isn't it, uh, Jake? As you say, uh, Abby Martin, she works for uh, Russia Today, also known RT, uh, which is a state-sponsored network, so basically a mouthpiece for the Kremlin, which is why her, her comments were just so shocking and really caught so many people off guard. She basically slammed uh, the military occupation, as you heard, and said that she refused to defend Russia's uh, military aggression. Now, we understand uh, that RT will not reprimand, uh, reprimand uh, Martin, uh, that she will keep her job. Apparently, they did offer her a reporting assignment to here at uh, Crimea to see uh, the story uh, firsthand. Apparently, she has uh, refused that. At least that is what she uh, tweeted. Uh, so, uh, where does it leave? Abby Martin, she still has a job. She's allowed to, to voice her concerns. She certainly has an interesting background. She is a 9-11 truther. She believes that America was complicit in the 9-11 attacks. And not surprising, she has uh, gained a, a great deal of support, um, certainly from journalist Glenn Greenwald, who we know is that uh, uh, journalist who broke the story on Edward Snowden and the NSA uh, spying uh, claims. I just want to read a, a quote that um, he put up, which is Abby Martin remarkably demonstrated what journalist independence means by ending her program with a clever and unapologetic denunciation of the Russian action in Ukraine. Jake, I can tell you that the people here certainly would not agree with what Abby Martin said. I'm outside the government building. The Russian flag is flying next to the uh, Crimean flag and there's a, a small rally happening uh, behind us. But these people are very much on uh, Russia's side, Jake.